Assalamu alaikum guys welcome back to civil engineers youtube channel in this short video lecture i will guide you how to read structural drawing for rcc slab staircase lintel beam and floor beam so let's get start guys if you need structural drawing 3d animation 2d planning for any type of building so you can contact me on this whatsapp number this is paid services not for free first of all i will guide you for slab reinforcement details guys you can see here so this is the x section of slab okay as you can see guys this is one column and this is other column so these are supports for this rcc slab and you can see this is rcc slab okay the span between two column is for example 20 feet so here guys you can see l by 4 so here the length between two column is L or span. Here you can see L by 4. L by 4 means you can see this is 20 feet. So 20 feet L divided by 4. So 20 feet divided by 4. It means L by 4. So this is the distance L by 4 where we have negative bending moment. Okay, positive and negative bending moment. Here we have positive bending moment at the end of the support are at the distance of l by 4 we have negative bending moment okay so this is negative bending moment so we have here crank bar next guys you can see the thickness of this slab is six inches okay so this is the thickness now here we have main bars and distribution bars so main bars you can see here where, uh, where we have cr uh, crank bar or bent up bar so guys here the bend is provided at the distance of l by 4 same on this side so this is the mirror of this you can see this angle you can keep up to from 45 degree to 60 degree so this is bent uh, bent up bar uh, angle or crank bar angle next guys you can see these are steel reinforcement okay so the, these steel reinforcement are distribution bar steel reinforcement dia is 12 mm with the spacing of 6 inches c slash c means center to center distance okay same guys you can see so this is for crank bar dia and its spacing and this one you can see this is for distribution bar dia next guys concrete cover for this structure which is rcc slab so this is from 25 to 40 mm you can keep the concrete cover okay c c concrete cover so guys this is rcc slab trying for steel reinforcement okay next guys you can see the other one is uh, uh, steel okay so this is a steer staircase as you can see guys here this is landing Okay, so the landing you can keep from 3 feet 6 inches up to 4 feet or 5 feet. So it's de depend on the design or architectural drawing according to uh, requirements. Okay, so here guys you can see this is the angle here. This angle you can keep up to 25 to 40 degree. Okay, next guys you can see the thickness is about here 6 inches for this landing and here the pitch is up to 3 to 6 inches uh, 5 inches you can keep so next guys you can see the steel reinforcement so here uh, we have 12 mm die of steel rod at the distance of 6 inches so c slash c means center to center distance okay the next one is this steel reinforcement which dia is same and spacing is also same okay so this is called trade this one okay and this is called a riser so you can keep the riser from six to seven inches and trade you can keep from 10 to 12 inches for normal residential building okay so these are its details so this is a staircase next guys you can see we have the first one which is this one this is called lintel okay Lentil we are providing after the height of 7 feet as you can see on the top of door and windows we are providing the lentil beam okay so this is called lentil beam so let me guide you for lentil beam or how to read the structural drawing of lentil beam first of all guys you can see the size of this lentil beam is 9 inches by 9 inches width is 9 inches and depth is also 9 inches we have here guys 4 steel rods 
okay which uh, is here you can see four numbers of steel rods dia is 12 mm okay 12 mm dia bars next you can see here this is the stirrup so the stirrup dia is 8 mm with the spacing of 6 inches c slash c here guys you can see this is the lintel uh, beam long section so you can see this is the concrete cover concrete cover you can keep up to 40 mm and you can see it's steel reinforcement okay next guys the spacing of stirrups as i discussed before uh, which is 6 inches c slash c and the dia is 8 mm so these are steel reinforcement and its size next guys you can see this is floor beam so the size of this floor beam is 9 inches by 12 inches okay so this is size of floor beam on the top of this floor beam guys you can see 6 inches this is the thickness of rcc slab as i discussed here so here this is the depth of the floor beam this is the width of floor beam this is the thickness of rcc slab we have here guys total we have here eight steel rods four steel rods at the bottom two are side bars are middle bars and two are an upper portion are in compression zone also we have four steel rods okay so four we have totally here guys you can see eight numbers a dia is 12 mm okay you can see the uh, stirrup so you can see the dia is 8 mm with the spacing of 100 mm 100 mm c slash c it means four inches center to center distance between the stirrups okay so these are the details but we don't have the long section so i will guide you in next video uh, especially for its long section guys you can see here this is the slab reinforcement details you can see you can make a screenshot for uh, for this rcc slab you can see the crank bar also guys the place of crank bar you can use the extra steel rods how we can provide the extra steel rods here guys we don't provide the crank so here at this place we are providing the extra steel rods here we are providing the extra steel rods so the extra steel rods you can keep up to uh, the distance of l by 4 but remember one thing that extra steel rods are not economical but crank bar crank bar is economical okay crank bar this is economical but bent up bar uh, crank bar or bent up bar is economical extra steel rod is not economical because we are providing extra steel rods first of all we are placing uh, here guys you can see these are main bars okay and these are distribution bars after placing of main bars and distribution bars we are providing the extra steel rods in rcc slip at the distance of l by 4 but normally crank bar uh, during crank bar or when we are providing the crank bar so we don't we don't require any extra steel rod so therefore i am suggesting this one to provide the crank bar or bent up bar in rcc slave this is the staircase and lentil beam with floor beam hope this short video can help you to know how to study structural drawing of beam call uh, beam lentil beam floor beam and RCC slave with steer. Thanks for watching. See you in next video. Goodbye.